Hi friends and subscribers, this is Mehmu Sheikh and from past few videos I am working on developing a college management system using PHP's one of the widely used framework code uniter. In my last video I completed the functionality of editing student record and in this video I will complete the functionality of deleting the student record. Ok so here you can see on my dashboard I have displayed different colleges and the users that have been assigned as co-admin for those colleges okay so now if i click on view students it will display me all the students that are enrolled for that specific college okay so here at the end you will notice two buttons edit and delete so i have already completed the functionality for editing the student and now i will complete the functionality of deleting the student okay so if i click on this delete link the student record should get deleted both from the database and from this table okay so now let's do that okay so now when i bring the mouse uh, mouse cursor on top of this link on the left bottom side of the browser window you will notice a link as 127.0.0.1 slash college ms here in this place college ms slash index dot php slash admin slash delete student and slash id one that id one is the id of that particular student Okay, so now with the help of this ID one, I am going to find that record inside the table and I will delete that record. Okay, so for doing that, I have to create a function delete student inside my admin. Okay, so now let me just first go to my view students. Here you can see this is the ID of delete. Okay, so here to this delete link, I have assigned the ID of that particular record and okay so when i click on this delete link that id will get transferred to this delete student function present inside the admin controller okay, so i will click on this admin controller okay let me just create that function okay so now let me just create public function delete student okay so to this delete student function i will pass the id okay so the this id whatever id i am passing from here with the help of this link to this delete student function this id i should accept here inside this function okay and then let me just show you that id dollar id okay so just save it and now when i refresh the page and now when i click on this delete link you will see i will be taken to the delete student function inside the admin controller and it's displaying the id of that particular record okay so now if i click on this record another record delete link then it will display me the id of that particular student okay so with the help of this particular id i will delete the record from the table okay so now i have access to i have got the access to this record with the help of this id so now i will load my model this load model okay and the model is queries okay so i will use an if condition if this queries of remove student function okay so to this remove student function i will pass this id okay and if i successfully manages to delete the record from this from the table then i will return the user to the same page which is admin slash view students slash id dollar okay, id okay so if i successfully manage to delete the record from the table then i will redirect the user to the same page who's having the id of one okay which is the id of the student that's why i have kept this path inside this redirect okay okay now save it okay and uh, now i have to create this function inside my queries okay so let me just create that function public function remove okay 
and to this I need to write return dollar this db and then delete okay to this I need to mention the name of the table from where I want to delete the record okay. I want to delete the record from the student table so I'll just enter the name of the students table and then I need to mention the ID which ID which students ID you want to delete from the students table okay so that's why I have mentioned the name of the ID of that student record okay so now this function what it will do is it will go to the TBL students table and it will find out the record uh, of that record whose ID I'm trying to delete okay so once it finds that record it will completely remove that record from the database okay so now it will return a value of one if it successfully returns the value return uh, it successfully deletes the record okay so that value one which this function is going to return will be received here inside this admin controllers delete student function okay based on that I will redirect the user to the same page okay now let me just refresh the page and now I will try to delete this record so I will click on this delete okay so now let me just refresh okay okay it has one record okay now let me just click on view students okay okay it has not deleted the records so now let me just check what is the error okay so here okay so here I need to put this inside an array okay cut ID and then ID okay I'll just save it now let me just come back to the admin okay here okay here you can see I have made a mistake I am trying to redirect to the record of the same id to which i want to delete okay, so that should not be done uh, so what i will do is i will just rewrite the user to the dashboard okay so now let's go back and refresh okay now let me just click on this delete link okay now i have redirected to the dashboard page and now let's click on this view students link now, okay now you can see there is only one record left inside the abc college students list and one record gets deleted okay and that record also gets deleted from the table okay now i have five records and you can see the one record gets deleted from the table okay so like this we can delete the record from the table using coordinator okay so uh, that's all for this video oh, guys i hope you like this video i hope you got some useful and valuable information out of this video regarding developing the functionality of deleting the record using coordinator okay if you like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel i will see you guys in my next video where i will discuss displaying all the co-admins okay so that we will be discussing in our next video which will be the last video of this tutorial series of developing the college management system okay thanks for watching